evening all. Welcome to the 20th. Hi. Welcome to. Hi. Welcome to the 2014. Hello, ad everyone. Advent uh, thing. Now, Rx has been drinking. I've been drinking. We really bad. <laughs> Let's just put some form to this before, because we've probably lost everybody, so let's just assume there's like three people watching. Hi. Hi. Awesome three people Hi, for three sticking people around. This, yeah. is a, this is a continuation of 2013's advent calendar. That was actually Technically, this is 2014. Yeah, yeah. It yeah. was actually Treble's idea, so uh, we thought we'd rekindle this with... What? Why, what's all this about ideas and whose it is? It's your idea. Oh, come on. Let's pay you a compliment. And oh, okay. 20, compliment. 2014 saw us playing a lot of games. Now, this isn't games released in 2014. I wasn't allowed to play. I only got to do thumbnails. This that is, was 2014. This is going to be a playlist to remember. Anyway, the, the 2014 saw us play a lot of unusual games. and 2014 isn't actually over. Yeah, I know, but it's an advent, isn't it? Yeah, but it's, it's a not religious a year. thing. It's not a year. It's where of Jesus year. eats chocolate. Anyway, no, so it's 1st of December. <laughs> Okay. Seriously. <laughs> right, let's introduce the game. This first one is my favourite game of the year. This is the best game I've ever played ever. He's orking again. It's it's called Orking. It's an orking simulator based upon... It's not uh, called orking. What's it called? I think it was by J, J.D. Tollend. He came up with some weird kind of Lord now of... Now you're being a bit... Lord like, of the uh, Rooms or something. But oh, anyway. Okay. Um, it is a really good game. It's it, Shadow of Mordor, guys. Shadow, Shadow of Mordor. Of Mordor. And just in case. It's based upon Lord of the Rings, which is basically a Hobbit simulator. Um, but it's a really good game. And let me, let me just say. That's really it to good. You. That's really good because you know what all Pyrex ever does is look down on people because he's so tall. So now it feels like he's going through normal reality. In fact, I do look mini. a bit like. That's a troll. Mini. That's a Graug, apparently. Mini, mini. I'm a bit like that. Hobbits. But I'm less horny. <laughs> <laughs> let the silence just fill that gap. That was a terrible joke. Right, let me say the, the let me say the concept, Trub. Right, because you've not actually seen this game. This you remember Assassin's Creed? Yeah. This is basically the best Assassin's Creed game that actually never was. Because this because is, it's not. It's called Shadow of Mordor. I know. It's basically they reskinned Assassin's Creed. So wow. the, the 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 basic USP here, you know, selling point. There you go. Bit of business. Bit of business is that you actually can can socially engineer the orc army and i'll show you this in just a minute because you have the ability to socially right, engineer hey well, so you <laughs> teach them how to have cups of tea and a biscuit well look you're a wraith am you, i yeah you're not dead i'm real no 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 in the game you're a wraith oh, with superpowers okay. and that means you have the ability to dominate weaker minds so i'd be able but to dominate that, isn't you. that normal <laughs> the, the, isn't everyone like that normally? <laughs> Only in your world. So basically you would have the ability to dominate weaker minds, in this case the Orcs, and that means you could socially engineer an entire Orc army to follow your will. And as you can see, look, you have like Are super... Are you sure socially engineer is the right word? Well, yeah, because I've just dominated this little Orky here. So I'm basically saying, you know, look, little Orky, you do what I tell you. So look, I'm dominating him now. Look, uh, by, by that dominating really him. That <laughs> really <laughs> sounds wrong. really Look, so this bad. is the Orc army. That's it. And I've... Anyone that's oh, got a Oh, you're converting blue, them. I convert them to my will. Oh, okay. So through, you know, sheer force of personality and a bit of magic... Um, I actually can c It's can whatever control. you can't do in real world, you're doing in this world. <laughs> Hence why it's popular, because gamers right. obviously don't influence much, and nor do I. So, so that they, they just want control. This is just a domination control type of game. It is. I dread to think what mods are released for this. But the, the power of the game is that it is an open world where you pretty much can go and do missions, side missions, and you can kind of do anything. But look at the power. So look, I'm feeling I have, slightly look, disappointed. This, watch this, watch this. If I, anyone else is feeling a bit disappointed look at that, with this his <laughs> Oh, I missed that. So I have the... But it's a quite gory game. I feel like you need to rewind that for me and just play it again. Rewind, because we are watching this on a VCR, right? Okay. An old Betamax, like, 80s yeah. video. Is that right? right? Yeah, yeah. Hang on, let me just find the plug-in remote control. Mm-hmm. So, well, you know what? The fa um, fascinating thing about that is you can actually press a button on the actual, you know, recorder. The keyboard. Yeah. Yeah. You'll take it back. Well, oh, well, look. I, I, I could, but I can't because okay. we're actually recording this. Look at it. Now you're saving that guy, are you? Oh, yeah, so, so humans have obviously been enslaved by the orc masses. Now, we're, we're nearing the end already. We've only <laughs> finished this game. I like this game because it's really big, it's huge, and it has this r lovely kind of personality behind the game. So this is one of the orc captains, Orthog the Ripper. Oh, is he a relative of yours? 
and he no oh. cheeky and he's <laughs> basically um, an enemy general so I'm able to basically beat him in combat best him then all of his lieutenants will follow me as well Th that that is the premise of the game it's a really good stealth map it's a really good story well, actually the story's a bit shit really but generally it ain't bad so really I give it a bit of a thumbs up I'm not so sure why I don't know it's just it just sounds like real life you're being orcus I don't know for me I could just you know make people do what I want in real life why would I need to do it on the game <laughs> so you're an IRL wraith interesting yeah. well it's I thought we'd start with this one maybe I'm not alright okay yeah maybe, I'm not so sure maybe actually not. But look, I chopped this out as well it's a really good head chopping simulator yeah. You know, there's, I, I have an issue with that. Another of one. Games. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> it really is. You could just, you could literally just go around chopping heads off. So, last yeah. few seconds. I really like this game. What do you think, Trump? Not so sure. How can you say that? But everyone has their own type of games that they like. This isn't my cup of tea. Indeed. That's the issue, isn't it, really? So there we go. First one down, and I think you've got 24 more games to I come. I can't believe you used this thumbnail. How many times have I told you about using this thumbnail? All right, hope you enjoyed <laughs> that. See you next time. Bye. Bye.